Hey everyone, this is the first time all year we've been able to come down this road. It's a seasonal road and it finally just melted out enough this week from the warm weather to travel down it safely. In the winter time it's closed to highway vehicles and it's for snowmobiles only. We have a slight blockage we're going to remove from these pipes today. I love seeing all that aeration, that's so nice, cleansing the water. You can see a good amount of excavator damage here. This is the most water I've ever seen flowing out of here. But there's evidence it was much higher. Let me show you the other side. You see there's still a little bit of snow in the woods. Pretty patchy. This warm weather's been playing a trick on us. Northern New England's been in the 80s all week. Even though this time of year it's not supposed to be over the 50s. But everything melted, but don't be tricked. It could still snow. That right there is from an old snow gun system. It's no longer used, but back in the day, this road used to have snow guns to put artificial snow down as soon as it got cold enough so they could get the ski trail open sooner for the year. This is very beautiful on the other side. Look at all that water. And you see all the debris upstream that may eventually make its way down here? Well, right now, this is what we got for a blockage. Not even that much stuff. I can get that out of there pretty easily, I think. This river has got a lot of power. Did you hear those rocks that let loose? That sounds amazing. I can tell from this riverbed, every single year, it drags so many rocks through these pipes. And that's why a lot of pipes we go in, the entire bottom is shiny, because rocks just coming through. Look at the side of this. So many rocks just coming through there. Now what we did, that did not improve flow at all. That stuff was placed there when the water level was significantly higher. As you can see, there's still a good amount of snow on the road now that we're getting up in elevation a little bit. I attempted this road about maybe four days ago. If you wanna see that video of just me driving up here on that when it was all slippery and stuff, I'll post that in the description. And that'll be on my second channel. Yeah, this road was too dangerous to keep going on a couple days ago. Can't believe how much it cleared up. I've been spending the last maybe five days or so in New Hampshire because it's been so warm. And we've been getting a couple pretty good blockages every day. As a result of the snow melting so fast. There's another pipe right here I can see a good amount of blockage on. There it is. There, I doubt we're going to see a single other person on this road, but just for the heck of it, I put the flashers on. 
You see this nice little waterfall right here? You can see by the evidence this was blasting enough in the last couple days during this warm weather. Look at the evidence of it coming over this whole hill real fast. Well, it comes down to this pipe right here, which has a good amount of blockage on it. That's a good amount of its capacity cut with just that. Now, whatever can't fit through this pipe goes down the road to this other pipe. Doesn't look like there's really much on this one either. But this system is perfect. That pipe pl plugs up, it comes down here. This one plugs up, it can go to the next. And it doesn't look like we really have... Oh, wow, there is actually something here. That stick is causing all this sediment to build up. Look at that, this whole sandbar is now gonna erode out of here through the pipe. There we go. A lot of sediment heading downstream. We just made that area murky for a little bit. Section of road has a pipe like every 50 feet or so. I just get out when I notice a blockage and while I'm out of the vehicle, we can check on a couple more of them. This one doesn't have any blockage in it. It doesn't look like by the way the leaves are placed that much of anything as far as flow went through here. Let's just walk up to this one more. Then we'll get back in, observing every single pipe as we pass down the road. You see this road, you see how it has all these ripples and bumps. During the winter, frost heaves are pushing rocks up. And that's what all these are. Even in the summertime when the frost heaves go away, most of that's pretty permanent. The moss is beautiful, that really greened up. Again, not much of anything on this pipe either. Yeah, really not much of anything. But without preventative maintenance, that'll just keep getting worse and worse. Today is the 16th of April, and according to the weather, man, this is the last stretch of 80 degree weather for us. Thankfully, tomorrow it'll be 50 degrees, and a couple days this week doesn't even get out of the mid 40s, which is perfect. We'll get a couple more deep freezes before the season's over. It would be nice to get one more big snowstorm before the leaves start growing on the trees. At home, I'm already starting to get my gardens and stuff ready for the year. It feels like summer to me. You know, even in northern New England, I know at least my house, the average July temperature is 76, but this last year it was 91 the average. This pipe right here does not have a blockage in it. That's just a bunch of debris in the ditch heading towards it. Yeah, this year I plan on getting into gardening again. I used to love doing that as a kid, but I haven't done it really in five years or so. Oh, it looks like a potential big blockage. You see that big puddle right there? All right, let's just pull over here a little bit. Put the strobe lights back on. Use the vehicle to, to protect the work area, even though it's really, I don't think we're gonna see anyone else on this road this time of year. So what do we got? A nice waterfall, beautiful. Is there a pipe here? There is definitely a pipe. Let's see if we can locate it. So it would be right here where all the cracking is. Pretty obvious where the pipe is. Do we think we can do it? Let's see about that. I think we're gonna get actually camera number two for this one, because this is a lot of water if we're successful getting it open. I don't remember if this is one that's crushed or not, but we're gonna give it a chance. Alrighty, everyone, camera number two is going. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah. 
think you got it. Maybe. Maybe. It felt like I just got stuck onto it. That was gonna rock. I don't feel it. No, that was a rock. Is it quite under it? Based on the road, it's gotta be here somewhere. Maybe it's over here to the right a little bit. Look at that! It's like we just pulled a plug. Suddenly the whole plug just let loose. That must have looked amazing on the other side. Wow! Way more awesome than I expected. Wow! Here's what this looked like before on this side. And here's what this side looks like after. That is amazing! But it's not going to last long, it'll be back the way it was in like 30 seconds. Now all the silt that's been built up by that dam is going away. That thing was blocked a lot. There's still a little bit of blockage on there. You guys should be seeing these clumps of leaves over on camera number two. That's not the big stick. Wow, that thing was longer than expected. I'll use my feet to push through a little of this slop in the immediate entrance so it doesn't contribute to another blockage. Not the sticks, though. Wow. We just dropped this puddle by like two feet. I bet those big blobs looked pretty cool coming out the other side, huh? Look at that. The pipe water was up to here. That was awesome. So, this drainage ditch is now going to completely dry up. No more water coming down here to the next pipe. You guys can tell by the amount of debris on this road, right? And sticks and stuff. It is basically abandoned this time of year. All right, a slight blockage here. Town got to put that thing back up. That was really nothing. Look at all the debris in these ditches. That'll eventually make its way down. All right, we're gonna drive down there and keep looking for some more. Let's go ahead and grab our camera number two. And now that it's been a minute, I bet the entire riverbed is, has gone back down the normal. Sure it has. That's like draining a bathtub in a couple seconds. No more water, yep, look. No more raging water. We're back to where it's gonna stay. Wow, that was a good one. Gotta get the air conditioning back on here. 
So, we just went down here. We saw that there was no blockage at the one right there. And most of that water was going down here anyways because that pipe's a little bit high. Get over really close to it. Put the window down, stick my head out. That one, wow. This one, I just want to show you the erosion on it. Some of the pavement is actually falling into it. And it looks like we have another flood up there, wow. Yeah, you see the pavement kind of falling in. This used to be an actual main road. In some spots, you can still see the yellow line. Yeah, you can still see the yellow line in some spots. This road is not one lane. It's actually wider than it looks, but barely anyone uses it, so it's basically back to one lane. Oh, wow, it looks like we have another clog. Maybe a good one, too. All right, now that I'm out of the vehicle, maybe not a clog, maybe just severely undersized. That's what it kind of looks like now. It looks like the water was not going across the road. I don't see any evidence of that, but the water was definitely higher here. Um, yeah, looking around, I don't see any evidence of it crossing, at least not to the extent where it would drag things. It's possible it was slightly going over it. Yeah, this pipe is almost at capacity. Look at this. We got to get down there and just look at the severe volume. That's just awesome looking at that. By looking in there, I could definitely see there is a log across the entrance, but not a big blockage. Let's see if we can grab that log. Yep, there is one log right here. Two logs. This will increase its capacity quite a bunch. Anything else? Well, there is something big right there. Look at that. Send it through. Oh, there's a couple more things. Look, we just increased flow a lot. And that's everything. Look how fast that pool just drained. Look at that, the drainage ditch is draining. Only a couple things can hold up capacity so much. And also the couple things in the pipe. Look how much sediment is in front of it. Not even half of its capacity is available. And these things here are just going to find their way in. It's all about preventative maintenance. There's an endless supply of things that could get sent down. So, I'm feeling the bottom of the pipe. That's as much as it can possibly be open now. There's a little bit of excavator damage that is cutting it maybe by 10%, but not a big deal. Hopefully some of these rocks will start moving. Doesn't take much for a rock to get sent through. Listen, this is gonna make a really cool noise. And that right there is the reason why the bottom of culvert pipes are always shiny. When water becomes powerful, it will be able to move all kinds of things, including rocks. Big rivers, especially whitewater rapids, that can move boulders half the size of a car. It's amazing how certain areas of river change every year. And you see, this is going to cause a problem after a while. See how the majority of the water is boom against there. You can see it eroding. With an excavator that's got to slightly be dug out and aimed there, maybe put a couple rocks as a barrier. Next time the DOT comes out, that's a good idea. You see where the water was by the dark line? Now I got it down there, dropped it at least. That looks like actually a foot. But you see by all this debris, it was circling up here like a big whirlpool because it was a bottleneck and it couldn't get through. That is really cool. Look at this tree growing right on top of that rock. A seed landed on there, there was just enough soil, and as the tree got bigger, it sent roots down to the ground. Perfect spot. Look at the unlimited water. Although, that tree's not doing very well. If I zoom up top, there's definitely a couple buds. Maybe, it looks like. Or maybe it died. 
It was either alive a year ago and it just died. What do you guys think? Whoa, this backed up into a little hole. All right, let's get back in and continue on our way. All right, we're back in the car and we're gonna move down the road a little bit. I'll show you guys once we get to something pretty exciting. You see that snow up there? That's what this whole road looked like a week ago. No, that was four days ago, but it was last week. It's still a little slippery, that little spot there. You just gotta be careful when you're driving on places with a lot of snow. If you have any spots of bare pavement, that's when you brake hard. Brake whenever you're able to going down those hills. Just don't tap the brake when you're on ice. That's when you go off the side of the road. Amazingly, I don't see any more tire tracks. Here's another bridge. Oh, it's getting a little more icy, but I think we can make it through the entire road today. It does go through a little bit of high elevation. Wow, this road looks tighter than ever before, since nobody's been using it yet this year. No one's having to pass each other, so it's definitely down to one lane. Oh my gosh, it looks like we might have another blockage, and maybe multiple blockages. I see multiple pipe markers that look like they have a lot of water sitting in front of them. Let's pull over here, get out and see what we got. So up here, the first pipe we went after, right here, going under the road. What do we got? Beautiful waterfall leading down to, where exactly is the pipe? I'm assuming that's it right there. Looking at the dip in the road. Pretty sure it's a blockage. Still not 100% where the pipe is because I don't physically see it or feel it yet. Looks like we got something that's going to get down. I don't care if I get a little wet. Stick my hand way down in there where I think the pipe is and start removing some of the stuff. Is that the pipe? No, it is not. It's just a crevice underneath a rock. So, maybe this is it right here. No. I do remember there are certain ones on this road that are completely crushed from years of neglect and or the excavator guy. So, trying to figure out exactly where it's aligned. This one might not be doable by the looks of it. Just trying to figure it out. I'm trying to feel anything that might be sucking down there. Guess not, we'll have to come back when there's less water and we can actually see down there. The next pipe is right here, which looks like a whole bunch of rocks may have fallen down into it. Looking back at the alignment of where it would be. Underneath this rock maybe. Nope. Oh, we did something though. I can tell by the movement, it may have been under that rock. Where though? This might be another one that's messed up. There's another giant rock I'm gonna try moving. Not noticing anything. Probably crushed. I know there are a few on this road that we have never been able to get open in the past. Once you do locate them, the entire end is crumpled from the idiot with the excavator. 
See right here was raging water a few days ago when it was melting. This pipe has, looks like very little stuff in front of it. It's, this one's having a fill in for those other two pipes. Very little damage on this one though. I really would like to stay here and try chipping at this one. So I'm gonna for at least a couple minutes and give it a try. I feel like we might get somewhere with this one. And if we get the water in the drainage ditch to go down, maybe we can go look at the first one. You saw that? Wow! That's one big whirlpool. Now the drainage ditch on the other side is working in reverse. All that water going to pipe number three is going to stop. Wow! We just pulled a giant plug. completely open. Absolutely amazing. Nice. Just leave those rocks there. Let the DOT fix that. That whole retaining wall is dangerously leaning in there. Now that the water in this ditch is lower, we're gonna try to look at pipe number one. And look at that, pipe number three is not gonna work again until pipe number two gets clogged. So, I'm gonna get in this one, just like I did with the last one, and we are gonna see if we can get this one going. I'm gonna go grab camera number two. All right, everyone, camera number two is going, and there's even some snow you can see to the left of camera number two. We're gonna see if we can get this one going now, especially now that the water is much lower. Water's dropping fast. 
There was just a couple of sticks in the way and a whole bunch of leaves jammed against it. It's still not even open all the way. Feels so good. That pipe is handling it all now. Look at this, the water in the ditch is now going backwards. Now, number two and number three have no water going to them. It's all back where it's supposed to be. And with this size waterfall and the evidence it was much higher a couple days ago, that pipe is undersized, but it's taking it all. When I was down there, the mist coming from this waterfall is so cool. It feels so good. Nice. Now this is how the other side is gonna remain until it gets colder and stuff stops melting and summertime comes along. This will almost come to a halt. All right, everyone, I'm gonna continue down the road and see what we find more. See a little bit of water pooling here, but there's not a pipe. This is the pipe right here where you see the reflector. Taking a look, just a visual look, nothing on it. Oh my gosh, we got a flooded road up here due to a clog. Oh, this is going to be a fun one. We're going to get to drain a flooded road now. There are two pipes involved in this and they both look like they've been plugged. All right, we're gonna go up a little further. There's actually a good parking spot right there. Wow, look at the debris in the road. I have said this one in the past had issues and it's, it's amazing. Even if both of these pipes were fully open, the amount of water going through here to do this, it wouldn't even matter. It would have happened regardless. So there is a blockage right down here that we've done in the past. In fact, I can actually see the pipe severely crumpled and easily clogged, but when it's open, it can handle a lot. This is actually the most flow I've ever seen coming out of here. That's why I'm spending the weekend in Northern New Hampshire. I've never been up in this area during their melt. So I've been having a lot of fun this week. In years past, I've found it coming down here many times, but I've never seen this end actually have a blockage. There is definitely some sort of blockage there I could tell going by, but it's handling a good amount of water anyways. That other one's barely doing anything. So first we're gonna go ahead and unclog this one, which will be very easy. I'm sure you guys remember this one. This is the one with the very, very thirsty tree hogging up the pipe. Let's see if we can get anything out of the end of this before we start sending more. Oh, look at all the debris. Still a couple sticks in there. Reaching on down. All right, we got a good amount of debris out of there. And that thing is at capacity. It's maximum capacity with the tree there, it looks like. So maybe there won't even be much on this side. I don't think it can really fit much more. First, we're gonna go and clog the other one. That'll have a lot less water. Maybe no water coming down to this one. Then we'll take a look what's beneath the water. Camera number two is rolling. Let's reach on down there. Oh, a little bit too high for my boots, but I can stand on that stick. I see the pipe right there. We're already getting it open, wow. Yeah, really in there. A lot of pressure, come on out. Oh, I'm flooding my boots. I don't care. It's hot out. Ah. ah, man, we need the rake. There's so much pressure. I don't need the rake. I'm already flooded. I don't care. Just get on in there.
water. It's very cold because this is coming from melting snow up in the mountain. Extremely cold water right now. The water is so clear, I can see exactly what I'm doing. This one's being tougher than in other years. I'm trying to figure out why. Ah, oh, it's letting loose. Wow, it's going, it's ripping itself apart. There we go. There we go. Sucking in all kinds of little rocks. We're still getting it open a little more. Wow, I wonder if you can hear the rocks going through it on the other side. I can briefly hear them under the water. Oh, pretty big one just went through. What's this? What am I feeling? Oh, look at that whirlpool! The water current's strong. This pipe is already crushed. Oh, yeah, I see that. Ah. Think we got it open though, to its max already. I see the water level around me dropping. Yeah. I just, oh, more. That culvert is so decaying. Look, I just broke a piece of it off. We just did that one good. The water has already started slowing down so much going to pipe two, and I think it may completely stop, honestly. That was a good one. And I even got the cool down, hot out. See that beautiful whirlpool we got going? I, yeah, I think we are gonna completely stop down there on the second pipe. I think we are. The water's already nowhere near the road where it was briefly still crossing. Only thing left in the road is a few puddles. This is gonna continue to drain back pretty well. I'll leave you guys with the whirlpool for a few minutes while I empty out my boots. Oh my God. I'll have to show you guys this too. Good thing I didn't step on it. There's a wood frog here. It blends in perfectly with the leaves. And I can tell it's a girl and she's full of eggs. This time of year, they're laying eggs everywhere. I know at home, my frog ponds I have, there's already hundreds of egg masses all over the place from the frogs. I recently put in a lot of little pools around the yard as frog hatcheries because last year it was sad so many of them died when we had our drought and their normal breeding grounds were drying up so this year I made sure they had a lot of spots to go. All right let's see if anything else got clogged in there you know things dragging over from the current it looks like nope nothing's blocking. There are a couple things around it I'm gonna grab. We're flowing very well. I think it's going to be able to handle everything coming out of the waterfall. Yeah, that guy's open pretty well. And we got to get that frog out of the road in a moment too. Okay, the drainage ditch has officially started working in reverse. There is no more water going down to pipe two. Yep, look, nothing else is going down there except residual water from the ditch. 
right here it's now going in reverse and um, here's the frog I was talking about ah my hands are wet so I camera is not gonna want to zoom in because of the wet hands but you see right here and you see the weird color of the frog just came out of hibernation let's pick the frog up wow barely moving must have just came out of hibernation maybe today look at the amount of water still coming out of the other side huge compared to when we started that's because we just moved all the water from culvert two back to number one. Look at this guy. All right, oh, just jumped. I'm gonna place you off of the road. Oh, now the frog's becoming active. Just wanna make sure you're off the road. Go, go, go. Go, 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 don't go near that pipe. You can stay there. Look at this nice green moss. Wash off my slimy hand. Look at all the debris in the road. Tons of it. Going down to pipe two. You saw how high the water was before. Now there's barely anything and there will be nothing but groundwater coming through here in a little bit. Yep. I was right, there was really not much of anything in the way of it. Oh, no, that's the pipe up here. No, there is a good amount in there. I can't believe that water was even fitting through there. I'm trying not to let slop go through there because I know about the bottleneck at the other side. There's a good amount of debris. This road has so much debris all the time. All right, that one's all clear. Let's check on the other side. Make sure too much didn't get washed down. Big difference from before, and this water is gonna completely disappear. All right, we're good. Let's move on further down the road. Now you can get, really see the pipe. It's making a slurping sound. I wonder where that frog went. Hopefully the frog didn't go near the pipe and just jumped up. Oh, I see the frog right there. Only a minute down the road we have found another issue. Where is the pipe? Right here, it appears. But how far down could it be? Look at all this sediment. Maybe is it close to the top? Sure it is. We're going to get camera number two on that. That'll be a good blast on the other side. First, I'm going to walk down the road and check out where all this water is being diverted to. Look at the size of some of these bumps. Rocks trying to get forced up from frost. This one looks like it may also have a blockage. And this one's handling a good amount of water. Look at that beautiful waterfall. So what do we got here? We do certainly have a blockage. We'll get camera number two on this one also. All right, everyone. <whistles> camera number two is rolling and take a notice. Camera number two's riverbed is completely dry. Watch what happens. There it is. So the pipe is just not that deep in the ground but it will certainly stop the water from going down to the next pipe as soon as this drops back. Just take a notice the sediment there that was just underwater is quickly being exposed. Now, the other side, I really wanna see that stream bed 
which is now going to be going pretty hard. Yeah, that was not doing anything when we first started. Now it's actually doing something. And that wall right there looks like it's about to go flop. Camera number two off. Let's go down the road. of a blockage but it looks like there is let's tilt you guys over here a little bit because this is where the pipe is wow this one is actually plugged a lot oh wow wow this pool is going to empty in like a minute completely open already That was way better than I expected. Let's get rid of some of this debris. That'll be a future fog. Loosen it up while we got the water pressure. Quickly, get out of there. Get out of there, mud. And sticks. All this debris. Get out of there. Now, as you can see, by getting rid of that debris, we now channel the water more directly towards the pipe, and that'll minimize erosion right there. That worked out awesome, and I can't believe how fast we got that done. You're not gonna notice any more flow, except if you were watching camera number two, it's already reduced back to normal. Spider friend just came into the car. I'm gonna drop him off outside before we pull off. Right onto the ground. Now let's pull off before he goes where I'm gonna run him over. All right, moving on. Let's see if we can find more. This road's like 10 miles long and we've only done a couple of the miles. So we're probably gonna find more cool stuff. Seriously, DOT, when are you going to learn not to use plastic junk culverts like this that just leach microplastic into the environment? They smash so easily when you hit them with an excavator. When they're not buried very deep like in this road, they easily become crushed. They don't last 70 years like the company wants you to believe because they're almost never installed correct where they would be lasting that long. Here's another beautiful stretch of road. That pipe is open, nothing backing up. Every dark shady area still has some snow. That is slippery too, but there's not enough of it to catch me where I would slip off the road. Looks like another blockage right here. Let's get out once again. All right, we're still within sight of that junky plastic one. That's how many blockages this road has. Not much coming out of here, but it looks like there might be a blockage based on what I'm seeing. Where even is the pipe? Let's get down into the water. I'm already soaked. And it's right here. Yeah, we're not gonna get camera number two this time. I'm gonna run over there. Go on, clog. Push the whole thing through. Woo! Running. There we go. That culvert just threw up a whole bunch of leaves and look at the riverbed being suddenly filled with a little flash flood. Nice. You got that one going good. Look at all the leaves going in there. We are 100% open. It's just a tiny little pipe and that this see the leaves, as they're floating by, they're actually getting stuck on the excavator damage. There we go. 
that puddle's draining. This drainage ditch is now reversing going to it. Let's see if the next pipe is blocked. It does not appear to be. I don't see anything built up. But that's why sometimes you just walk preventative maintenance. Who knows what could be on it. Doesn't look like anything, but I just want to check while I'm here. You can see a good waterfall coming out there into the ditch. But that's going the other way, away from this pipe. You see how the leaves here are barely disturbed? Even during the flooding this week, barely any water goes to this pipe, so nothing was able to get dragged down here. Pulling off. Here's another pipe. How's that one look? Looks like something we should probably stop at. Yep, that's definitely a big old blockage. That'll be a simple one. There's already a good amount coming out of it. Wow, there's a giant swamp down there. And we got another one up here. It looks like nothing. From the one we're gonna unclog, it looks like it piled a bunch of stuff here. Looks like the water may have actually been crossing there a little bit. This pipe doesn't look like it's got much of anything. The other side of the road is very pretty. I gotta show you that. Lots and lots of ex excavator damage. Wow, the whole end of it is twisted. Look, see how much it comes up? All right, let's go to the other side of the road. Yeah, isn't that pretty? All the little pools of water. All right, everyone, camera number two is going. This is kind of cool, the slime, how it's building up. Almost open completely. We got it open all the way. There we go. That might be the last one we find today. That's a good way to end the day. It's about to get dark soon. Whole pool of water gone in under a minute. Just amazing. Very snowy section of road here. Anything on this pipe? Nope. Look at the snow here. Wow, you can tell water's been going over the road here a lot. But that's not because of a blockage. Look how much snow we suddenly got on this road. That is not because of a blockage. It's because of an undersized pipe and I'm gonna show it to you. Oh, wow, there might be a blockage too. But I know that has flooded in the past for no reason, too. Well, here's someone. That's a cop. He waved at me. Oh good, so that means this road is open to pass. I thought we weren't gonna be able to get out this end because of the snow bank that's always here. Nope, wow. People have plowed their way through the snow bank. We couldn't go through this snow bank a week ago. I tried to go down this road from both ways. So we're gonna go back down there where the cop is right now. And we're just gonna go to that one pipe. He'll probably be well beyond it by then. cop's gonna think I'm weird if he sees me approaching behind him again probably probably should have just done that pipe while we went by it but I knew this was the end of the road so it looks like this road is open on both ends but you see how scary it is on this end this end is the populated part of the road 
I entered it from the back, which is most people don't know about it unless they go all the way through. Yep, the cop is well gone. All right, so we're gonna stop right here and I'll show you the situation. Wow, actually just bottomed out a little bit right there. All right, let's pull over right here. And we don't need to go down this road again. We'll just leave through this easy side. So right here, you can see water has definitely been going across. That was definitely from today. And you see this area of the road, because this road, it gains elevation the entire, it's now that we're at the end of it, we can get back out onto a main artery. But as it gains elevation, the road conditions go down. This is what the whole road looked like four days ago. And there's a guy up there hiking. So we're gonna stop right here. This is where all the water continues down the road and crosses, it crosses there because the drainage ditch needs to be dug a little deeper. It can't even make its way down to the other side. So, all right, there it is. We're gonna go ahead and set camera number two up one more time. Dog tracks too. Snow has melted on this road in this area so little, you can still see all the snowmobile tracks also. You see what I mean? By design, it's supposed to go right down to the next pipe. But because the ditch hasn't been dug out in so many years, it just doesn't have the capacity, so it goes across the road. But look at this. You can tell this was a massive amount of water going across the road in the last couple days. To be honest, this pipe probably couldn't even handle it like that major spot that I was showing you where it was. Alrighty, everybody. Camera number two is set up. And here's the pipe. That was an easy one. It's got some excavator damage, but you can hear a lot of rocks tumbling through. That drained really fast. And this is gonna be the last one for today. I hope today's video was interesting, everyone. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Now you can clearly see the yellow line right there when this used to be a main road before they built the newer, easier route. All right, everyone, it's about three hours later. I'm back home, and look at this. I just planted this maybe about a week ago. This is a mulberry bush, and I'm hoping it gets big here. Just found that in the woods and decided to transplant it further into the yard. And it gets another water. This is what I brought home in my boots today.